Last time on Races to Places, Lyndon visited the Perito Moreno Glacier. these two little puppies doing in the middle of nowhere? Oh man. Oh, who dumped you out here, eh? Oh dear. You don't look very well, do you? Look how thin you are. You know, it's one thing seeing stray dogs in a city, but when you see two puppies out in the middle of nowhere, hund hundreds of miles, hundreds of kilometers from anywhere, what do you do? It's not fair, is it, guys, eh? Covered in fleas. How long have you been out here? You've got to wonder how these little guys ended up out here. They only look young. You think you can sit on there? Hey? <laughs> it's gonna be hard, isn't it? Sure, I can do this. Right, you gotta stay there, okay? All aboard Basil Bike, and don't okay. they look chilled out on Lyndon's lap? I really hope he can find somewhere that will take care of these lovely animals. They definitely don't deserve to be roaming around the wilderness with no food. Uh, it's 60 miles, guys. Are you ready for it? brought them here to this gas station. Wow, muchas gracias. Well, there you go, George and Poppy. You've got some food. Those guys are seriously hungry. They're like scoffing the food down. George and Poppy, as I named them. I just hope these people, they seem dog friendly, so hopefully uh, they can take care of them. I hope so. So it's a happy ending. Um, two uh, little fellas, George and Poppy, have got some food. And uh, I've left some money here uh, with the owners of this petrol station. And they are really dog friendly and they're going to take care of these little fellas. Uh, small crossings is that they're very quiet and very easy. See here we've got the uh, police, aduana, migration and SAG which is to check for see if you're bringing in any fruits or anything into Chile. See the little hen walking around in the background. Not much else going on here. That's it. That's it, the job is done here. Time to go. This is the most southern point of the Carretera Austral, the famous route that runs north to south, south to north, 
to Chile through the Andes. We're going to ride all the way from here in the south, all the way to the very north, 1,247 kilometers. And we're going to stop off and take some detours, see some cool things along the way. There's lots of great little villages to see, lots of great scenery and of course lots of fantastic riding. So here at the very start of the Austral, you can see it's like the old traditional road that was first ever cut into the mountains and the hills here. It's really quite rugged. Really great riding. cool just uh, cruising through the streets of these places just to see like uh, how the others live down here nearly all wooden houses look how cool this stuff is it looks like Lyndon is taking a quick shower but he really needs to take his climb suit off, as it's not going to let any water get to his skin. few short ferry crossings. Okay, so last night we arrived, uh, myself and Basil, uh, arrived in Tortel. We ended up camping in this little spot just here, so found this little shelter. You can see behind me my, my tent and everything. And, and Basil, and we also camped with a, another British guy called Tom. Hey, uh, Tom. Who's been uh, hitchhiking around the world for the last two years. This is a small, a really small town, and the terrain is so rugged that they couldn't put any roads in, or not uh, practically put any roads in, so you have to hike down. Hey. Hey. We're in Tortal, which is a Chilean commune, located on the Baker and Pascua rivers next to the outflow to the Pacific Ocean. At the last census, there were 507 people living here, and as you can see, the place is mainly constructed of wood, with the buildings elevated on stilts. around it's pretty easy to get lost around these little uh, little streets like wooden platforms walking through all the houses some wood some have tin roofs like this one and a lot of the houses are, are not so lived in anymore um, 
I guess it's become a little bit more of a tourist attraction than actual place that people live and worked, but yeah, it's nice to see it nonetheless. to take a rest from the road, someone has kindly left a sofa here to relax. It looks like Lyndon is taking up that offer. Hi folks, last night we arrived in a very, very small village called Porteria Tranquilla. Tranquilla. Yeah, got my camp set up and uh, the thing to do here, there's a few things, you can visit a glacier, you can also visit the Marmol uh, caves and I really wanted to see the caves, it's a short boat trip out and it was a really cool thing to do this morning so I got up early. I think it cost me seven dollars, US dollars and um, I got a short boat ride out to the caves and it was pretty spectacular, it was really nice to see how the minerals from the lake have like carved their way under the sides of the lake and created these massive caves. Some of them are like 50 meters deep running into the side of the rock. Got some nice footage and uh, the thing that, that sort of stood out to me most, the biggest spectacle was the color of the water against the crystal clear um, but Visually it looks kind of blue, um, bright blue like cyan, like the colour of my jacket. Yeah, it was, it was a good experience. It's nice to just take some time out and do something different off the bike. And, now we'll just get back on the bike and head north. I got up at 6 o'clock this morning um, and went for a hike in uh, Villa Carre Castile, I think they call it, and uh, just got sight of this with the sun shining on it. How awesome is that? I'm pretty sure all of you adventurers watching know that feeling when you're hiking through a beautiful place. when you're coming up to crest the summit of where you've been hiking oh, it's such a nice feeling look at that a glacier there running down into a lake Whew. beautiful yeah, just finished uh, the hike climbed about 5,000 feet and summited at 4,420. Great day to go out for a hike. I'm gonna head back down and get on the bike and hit the road again now, but spectacular morning. It's a big hike for a little cat kitten. Timmy. Hey, Timmy. Timmy. Yeah, Timmy. Oh, you've hiked two hours up here. Good on you. <laughs> yeah, see you later. Bye. So this is a really great view from up here of the, uh, the road that I'm taking from south to north, the Carretera Austral. You can see it there working its way through the valley. It's a gravel road. It's uh, Pretty nice, it's enjoyable, the scenery is amazing 
and there's a view of it from up here today. Next time on Races to Places, we'll be visiting Lyndon's friends at the If You See K Winery in Argentina. Hi everyone, I just want to say a massive thank you to you all for watching my media and for all the great comments that I receive every single day. Please keep them coming. I'm just going to share with you my Patreon page. Patreon is a membership based platform that gives creators like me the opportunity to continue cr to create the media that you love to watch. For just a few dollars a month, I can give you priority viewing, I can give you special features, informative posts about the things that you want to know. It creates a platform for interaction between you, the viewer, and me, the creator. Now, a few dollars a month might not seem like a lot to you, but for me, collectively, it makes a huge difference. So please check out the link at the bottom of the page, and I appreciate any contribution you can make to make my job sustainable. In return for that, I promise to keep creating great media that you love, dreaming up new projects, filming it and sharing it with you all. Thanks. <laughs>